Well, one of the things that's sometimes confusing is uh, what is an organic rich A horizon and what is an O horizon. Now, most of the time, uh, in a site like this one, you'll see these dark colored A horizons. This is an example of an organic rich A horizon. Now, this is a mineral horizon. It's predominantly mineral and it's high in organic matter. Now, this again is called uh, a, an A horizon. So I discussed uh, an organic rich mineral horizon that I called the A horizon. Now we have another master horizon called an O horizon. And O horizons are normally found in forested sites such as the one we're in today. Now the O horizon is predominantly organic material. And this would be an example here of O horizon material. Again, we have different levels of, of decomposition. Some of the organic matter is relatively undecomposed, so I can pick out a leaf and maybe identify it as an oak leaf. But if we go down a little deeper in the O horizon, it's almost completely decomposed organic material. Again, it's predominantly organic matter, but I can't really identify the individual plant components. So this would be then called an O horizon. Again, we only find it, almost only always find it on the soil surface. So that would be the difference then between an organic rich A and an organic matter, predominantly organic material O horizon.